Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Syncfusion Flutter Stack Charts. In this video, you will see how to add the Syncfusion Flutter Charts package to a Flutter project and add the Cartesian Chart widget to it. You will learn how to set a data source to the chart and how to add a stacked line series to it. I will explain how to add a title, legends, tooltips, and show markers in the stacked charts. Finally, I will show you how the other stacked charts like stacked area, column, bar, 100% stacked line, area, column, and bar series works. First, open the VS Code Editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, so I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. First, run this application. Choose the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Now, let me show you how to add a stacked line chart in this app, in place of the text and button widgets. To do so, first, I need to import the Syncfusion Flutter Charts package from the pub.dev website. So, open the pub spec YAML file and declare the dependency Syncfusion underscore Flutter underscore charts using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command Flutter pub git to download the package. The download is completed now. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the charts.dart library so that you can use the chart widget in this file. Let's write the stacked line charts related code within the My Homepage State class. Remove the code in the My Homepage State class for better clarity. Override the build method, and within the build method, return a safe area widget to render the chart within the usable area. To its child, set a scaffold widget so that you can set the material design to your application. To the scaffold's body, set the SF Cartesian chart widget so that you can add the stacked line series to it. Other stacked series like area and 100% area can also be rendered using this widget. I will explain these series types in the later part of this video. Save the file. The hot reload feature loads the application in the Android emulator. You can see the Syncfusion Flutter chart rendered with default X and Y axis in my application. Now, let me show you how to create a stacked line chart for the monthly expenses done by a family. Define a class named Expense Data. Declare a field of type string and name it Expense Category, and declare a number field to store father's expenses values. Do the same for mother, son, and daughter. Create a constructor for this class that receives the parameters Expense Category, Father, Mother, Son, and Daughter. Next, I need to create a chart data source and bind it to the chart. To do so, create a method that returns a list of expense data, get chart data. Within it, define a chart data field of type list of expense data and assign a collection of expense data. Here I have set the expense data in US dollars. Return the chart data collection. To set this data to the chart, in the My Homepage State class, declare a field of type list of expense data. To initialize the chart data field, override the init state method. Within it, initialize the chart data by calling the method get chart data, which will return the expense data collection. Now, in the SF Cartesian chart widget, set the series with a chart series collection and set the stacked line series by passing the types as expense data and string. Set its data source property with the chart data object that we just created. Next, you need to map the data for the X value and Y value. So, use the X value mapper property and set the expense category field. This will plot all the expense category values. In the same way, use the Y value mapper property and set the father field to show the father's expenses. Since the primary X axis value contains category values, which are the expense names, you need to set the primary X axis as a category axis so that the Cartesian chart can understand its X axis type. Now, I have set a series to plot father's expense. Let us see how this works. Save the file, you can see the line chart in the application. The expenses are plotted based on expense category. Let me do the same for other family members. Add a new series for mother, son, and daughter. Save the file to see the changes. You can see the stacked line series in the chart. Here the values are in US dollars. 
So, I need to state that in the chart, let me show this along with the chart title. To do so, in the SF Cartesian chart widget, add the title property, set the chart title widget, and set its text property with a title. I have mentioned the data unit as US dollars. You can also add alignment, background color, border color, and text style. Save the file to see the changes. The provided title is now shown in the chart widget. You can also show legends in the chart by adding the legend property in the chart with the legend class and setting the is visible property to true. Save the file and you will be able to see the legend at the bottom of the chart. You can see the name as series 0, series 1 and etc. Since they are named as per the position in chart series collection, you can change the series name by setting the name property in the stackline series class. I set the names for all the series. Then, save the file, and you can see the series name changes to father, mother, son, and daughter. Next, let me show you how to enable tooltips to the chart. First, I need to create a tooltip behavior field and assign it to the chart. So, in the My Homepage State class, declare a field of type tooltip behavior, and in the init state method, initialize the field with the tooltip behavior class and set the enable property to true. Now, in the SF Cartesian chart widget, add the tooltip behavior property and set the tooltip behavior field. This enables tooltips in the chart widget for all the series. Now, save the file. Tap on a data point to see its tooltip. Let me show the markers for each data points so that you can easily identify the data points. To do so, in the stacked line series class, set the marker settings property with the marker settings class and set the is visible property to true so that the markers will be visible for that series. Also, you can add more settings like border color, image, shape, and many more. For this example, I'll keep the marker simple. I do the same for other series too. Then save the file. You can now see the markers for all the series in the chart. Next, let me show you how the same data looks when I use the stacked area series. Change the stacked line series to the stacked area series for all the four series. Save the file to see the changes. You can see the stacked area series in the chart. In the same way, I can change it to stacked column series. Change all the series to stacked column series and save the file. You can see the stacked column series in the chart. Let's see how the stacked bar series looks with the same data. To do so, change all the stacked column series to stacked bar series. Then, save the file. You can see the stacked bar series in the chart. Next, let me show you how the 100% stacked charts looks with the same data. Change the series type to stacked bar 100 series. Do the same for all the series. Save the file. You can see the 100% stacked bar chart. In the same way, change the series type to stacked column 100 series. Change all the series to stacked column 100 series and save the file. You can see the stacked column 100 series in the chart. Now, I change the series type as stacked area 100 series for all the series. Now, you can see the 100% stacked area chart. Finally, I change the series type to stacked line 100 series. You can see the 100% stacked line chart in the application. That's it. Let me summarize the main points of this video. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter Cartesian chart widget to a Flutter project. You learned how to set a data source to the chart and how to add a stacked line series to it. You also learned how to add a title, legends, tooltips, and show markers in the stacked charts. Finally, I showed you how to create other stacked chart series. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and the documentation link in the video description below. You can also check if you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.